Okay, tonight I'm going to mount the uh, Y-axis Hall Effect sensor. And uh, again, the holes that are pre-drilled in the plate don't match the holes on the Hall Effect sensor. So I'm going to take the plate off. I'm actually going to mark it from the bottom once I get the whole plate disassembled. Uh, mount it right there, and then I'm going to put a magnet in the slot attached to a T-nut. So disassemble this. All right, I've removed the uh, heated bed belt plate, and I'm going to mark my uh, Hall Effect sensor spot. And it's going to be real close to that belt. Let's see. Not sure I'm happy with that. on where the it's unfortunate if I rotate it at 90 degrees then I could get the the clip mount for the belt out of the way. But that clip mount is right above the T nut slot. So I have to be on this side of it with my end stop. That way. If I had it figured out. Alright, time lapses and I have an answer. Now, this was the original orientation, and I, I need to put my uh, Hall effect on this side of the plate, but as I come back, that uh, mount for the belt is too close to where my Hall Effect sensor is, so I'm going to flip the plate over, rotate it 90 degrees, means I move all of my bearings to the other side, and uh, mount my sensor here where I have more room and I'm clear from the belt uh, attachment. Incidentally, I'm using uh, M2 screws and I'm using a 564th drill. Uh, it says it's uh, 1.98 millimeters, but it seems to work, right? flap that is closest to the hole, so that should be farthest away to keep the wheel loose. Uh, 